Welcome back. My name is Manny Martin and I am your news guest anchor. In other stories making headlines globally, European governments are increasingly restricting the lives of unvaccinated people as COVID-19 infections surge once again. But doctors are questioning if countries have relied too heavily on jobs, neglecting other, con other containment measures like masks and social distancing. Mani Martin, Mani Marte, Mani, Mani Naruta? Yeah, any. Mani Marte, Mani Naruta. Mani Martin are my official names. <laughs> Fantastic, good to have you, man. Thanks. It's been a long, long time. Yeah. First of all, mm -hmm. I'm told you actually went to this uh, university to do journalism. How does it feel to be in our seat? Oh, Lord. <laughs> So, uh, <laughs> I was so nervous. You were, I was but so you nervous. did great, man. Thank you. You did you great. Much. Very, very happy to have you. You're such a legend. You've done quite a number of songs. And, you know, uh, ladies and gentlemen, we are literally premiering Jealousy yeah. on Rwanda TV. Isn't this the first time it's playing on Rwanda TV? Yeah, yeah, it's the very first time. Actually. Jealousy is a banger. It's a club banger, like they say. Yeah. How, what is the inspiration behind this song? Yeah, Jealous is actually a song that uh, kind of tackles uh, uh, domestic violence uh, yeah. in a way. Yeah. Especially when it's done, uh, you know, when someone is jealous without really analyzing why they're jealousy. You know, they sometimes end up abusing other people yeah. uh, because they think they're cheating on them. Yeah. Sometimes it's not even true. Yeah. <laughs> it's such a nice song. The video, uh, the uh, it was produced by the, the by new element, the new kid on the yes. block. Hey. Oh, actually, the youngest producers on this song, yeah. because Element is the youngest audio producer that we have in Rwanda. Interesting. And Jared Kingsley, the the little boy, I call him the little boy who produced the old video. Yeah. He's also the youngest. Video director brilliant, brilliant. It wasn't done in, in Rwanda, was it? Yeah, we shot the video it in Goma, but in Goma. the director is Rwandan. I've seen quite a number of videos going to Goma. What is in Goma? Uh, I don't know, but for me, I've been. Doing I think uh, some other artist called yeah. Ish Kevin. I'm not, yes. you know, I think also. In his soul as well. Yeah, they yeah. did. Uh, yeah. Quite an, you know, it's good that you're actually, actually exploring the the neighboriness, the good neighboriness that we're having between the, uh, Rwanda. What are, and the, and DRC? What have you been up to? Ah, uh, well, I've been actually kind of trying to spend some time with myself, wow. and you know, having this talent with me, speaking to my talent, yeah. trying to make it like a food of my soul so that I can be able to get some more energy to share it with the people. Yeah, and now I'm actually releasing the first song on my EP yeah. that I called Top or Tunes of the People. So, I, I, you know, we, um, uh, before we talk more about your EP and what you have in store for us, I want to go back a bit and yes. look at some of the songs you did. And if they can give us Aka Jezi Kamsholoza right there. You know, this is a song that actually most of us really, really like. And uh, I'll ask the director to put it up as we sing to it, dance to it, and then we'll get back to what you have for us. So, um, you know, cut, they say. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, the reason why I brought this song, I actually wanted to know, this is some song that most of us can relate to mm -hmm. from where we come from. Yeah. Where's your home area? My home area is uh, in Rusizi and uh, uh, in a very tiny village. Yeah. Yeah. How was your childhood like? Uh, how was my childhood like? 
It wasn't that much fun. Yeah. But some of uh, the moments were really fun, especially yeah. when we were going to play to that small yeah. river, because this song is really like real. Real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This small river is a river that we used to go to, to clean our clothes, to even wash ourselves. Yeah. So, you know, that's one of the memories that I really keep. Um, in my childhood. I think all of us uh, who, you know, the, the so-called country boys and girls, yeah. we have that Kajazi Kamshaloza that yeah. we can relate to. And village one, people. the village people. <laughs> and uh, director, if you can, please give me the song My Destiny, mm -hmm. because this song actually, to me, when I was listening to it, it relates to a Kajazi Kamshaloza in one or another. Yeah. And I'll ask, uh, if you can give us uh, My Destiny, please. I don't know where to call home I don't even know who my father is My mother that died many years ago She didn't talk about my story And I can see how much I'm lonely But tell me the head cause it's love that I need I wanna respect every person I see The love is coming home I live to see the future Whatever I do, I wave our reward I wanna touch my destiny Break it down. Now, the reason why I chose this song is that part where you say uh, about you talk about your childhood, you don't know your father, your mother died. That sounds like a real story, true story. Uh, well, a part of it is a true story and yeah. relates to my own story, but... And actually it takes me back to the first song, The Jealous, as yeah, well. Yeah, because yeah. I... I grew up with uh, a lot of questions in my mind and uh, I lost my mom when I was very young and uh, I lost the chance to live in my village when I was young and I, you know, like I grew up looking for a place I can call home so, uh, until I found music as my home. So this song, a part of it is my story, another you know, other parts of it are the stories from the children that I grew up with in uh, one center called Nanukunga. Yeah. Because we used to share our testimonies and I could get some of them who had such kind of stories. But you, yeah. you're through, you're through uh, you've recovered, are you doing well now? Are you, do you think you're still having some, mm -hmm. carrying some wounds? Well, childhood um, wounds are not really easy to heal. You know, we all have our inner child that uh, sometimes speaks to us, and um, you know, it's not easy. But I, I'm, you know, in a in a healing process. I can say I'm still in that healing process. I'm actually writing a book about that. You're writing a book yeah, about I am. it. Yeah. We can't wait to look for, you know, to read that book. And uh, that song, Urukumbuzi, if I may ask uh, as we conclude, yes. um, has been the transition from the gospel. Mm -hmm. This is the question that you probably get quite most asked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The transition from mm -hmm. gospel to secular music. It's been a journey, yeah? Yeah, well, since I was a child, because I mean, I, start, I don't even remember. I can't say I started music because I mean, music has been in my life since I was like six years old. Yeah. But um, when I was a child, I dreamed of uh, becoming an artist, a diverse artist who performs uh, for different people. Yeah. But then church was the only place that I could develop this talent. So when I finished my high school, I was singing church by church, going back to the orphanage center. That's where I was living. Yeah. But. Um, then when I started asking myself what I'm going to do as a job, that's how I decided to make music as a professional career and decided to, you know, sing different messages, becoming, become the artist that I yeah. dreamed of before. It wasn't easy because people uh, did not really like it uh, in the beginning, but I knew that, um, you know, I can't turn my dreams into what people think of. What matters is... You're happy? Yes, I'm happy. And you have your own faith. Yes. For you have faith. You have still have the reason why you sang, sang that song and you still do. And I'm so grateful to God because uh, 
this talent that he gave me, uh, you know, I believe it was for this purpose that I'm using it for. Man Malte, we appreciate your time. We cannot exhaust every single Thank detail you of much. your life, but we appreciate you sharing your story, a very deep story, but also accepting that we are premiere your song Jealous right here on Rwanda TV News. Quite an exciting one. Usually it doesn't happen. Thank it only happens on other shows. People can see it on YouTube. On YouTube, uh, yes, <laughs> on his YouTube channel. Mani Martin Official. And uh, they can follow him on uh, Instagram. On Instagram, Mani Martin Official, Facebook the same, and Twitter, Mani Martin Live. Are you planning to give us an extended EP? Yes, very soon. Very other soon. Other songs on the EP are coming out soon. Fantastic. Folks, it's a wrap from me and my guest, Anka Mani Malti. We appreciate your time and, of course, from the entire news production team. Stay safe. Up next is Friday Flight with the, the dynamic duo of Anita, DJ Bisoso and Jitego. But from us here, let's have a party as it lasts.